Uh, so yeah, welcome back to Volumes, my podcast. And welcome to Volumes, Megan. Thank you for coming on to my podcast. I mean, I don't really have much choice, I Yeah, I did pressure you <laughs> into it. Um, but I'm grateful for you to do this and talk yeah, about um, your adventure within the the company. Or what is, It's not really a company, is it? It's a corporation. Corporation. It's in the name. Oh yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, the uh, without giving up too much information away, you work for a British broadcasting corporation. Yes, any of the aforementioned. One, one of them. One of many. Yeah, so you work for the BBC. Yeah. So do you want to talk box. about? Well, here. Can I we, see that? We, what? <laughs> Nothing. You can see what you want. Yeah, thank God. You, this is your. This is your platform right now. For this episode, it's your platform. Right. See whatever you want. Live your life. Be the best you you can be. Right. That's that's what this podcast is about. It's about <laughs> an influencing people to do what they want to do. Cool. So if you want to be part of the BBC, listen to this episode. <laughs> and by the end of it, you're like, don't do it, run, don't do it, run away. <laughs> I'm depressed. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to introduce yourself first? Okay. Tell me about about yourself. Who are you? Hi, I'm Megan. Nailed it. <laughs> Hello, anyone. And I am currently a production apprentice at bbc scotland a production apprentice yes what not is the apprentice the 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 no that's the star wars theme tune that's not the either of tune. those don't do them copyright i can't, <laughs> I can't handle that <laughs> that's too much stress that's too much paperwork see we've got a fast way of doing that at the bbc you know um what really yeah it's quite fun it's like a wee form that you fill out and someone just does it for you automatically what so you whenever you need like copyright and music yeah you just write it down like I need Star Wars theme song. Well, send that away, you and would, you would do it, and then you'd, we've just got a team that you email them like I used this song, and they'll just do it. That's insane. I, know. I I'm jealous. <laughs> you should. That's be. mental. Yeah. How does that just happen? You grow to the size that the BBC yeah. is, and that you know, no one can do that. No, <laughs> no, not, no entity can even achieve no, that. Not at That's that crazy. So yeah, so you just applied to do a job. I did. Um, and I, you got it. I, I did somehow. Someone somewhere's made a mistake, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's lost their job because of this. Um, no, they. I wanted to go to uni. Didn't really want to go to uni, though. So mm. I decided not to go to uni, but also apply for uni. And then also applied for the apprenticeship. So I applied for it last February. And... Um, from February I did a video interview after the application it was a video interview which was great fun because me being me Tom knows that I have a one brain cell <laughs> and I forgot about the, well I didn't forget about the video interview but I thought the deadline was <laughs> oh, the God. I thought the, the deadline was the Sunday but it was actually <laughs> the Thursday so I toddled into my job in the call centre on the Thursday afternoon starting at one I went to put my phone in the locker and there was the reminder email from the BBC that my video interview was to be in that night. Oh. So I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried at my desk and my manager from my last job, who was a complete soul, um, came over and asked him why I was crying and I explained the situation and he knew how much I needed to not be in that job anymore. Oh, right. So he let me go to my car. Well, first of all, he got another girl to lend me all of her makeup so I could fix Aww, my face. That's so and nice. then I went to my car and I did my video interview very Shout badly. out to that guy. Shout out to that guy. If you're listening, Colin Lawson, I should doubt you Big are. up. Um, oh, number one fan. Number one fan. <laughs> He's a regular um, listener. He, I don't think he knows what a podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the video interview. So somehow, I, at that point, I was like, right, well, I've, I've messed this up. That's not going to happen. Oh. And I accepted that I was going to have to spend four years at university when I had no, I don't have the brain capacity for that. Um, <laughs> not that university is not great. Good shout out for you if you're going to uni. I'm just, that's not for me. Um, that was the weakest. <laughs> 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 Trying my best here. Uh, you, uh, if you go to uni, you're cool, I guess. Um. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing great. I can't wait for you to have a job in four years or maybe not. You know, you never know. <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, did the video interview and got through. And then I had to another assessment day where it was like a group task and people had to work together. And, you know, that goes well when mm. you put 20 personalities in a room together <laughs> and tell them to try and work on something. Mm. And then it was like six one minute interviews with loads of random people oh my god that seems like quite vigorous like, it was horrendous a lot and i think the, there was i remember there was four assessment days and there was like 20 people in each of them so that was like 80 people and they narrowed that down to the eight of us that they have now and hmm. here i am 
living life on a podcast <laughs> on a podcast winning <laughs> winning everything yeah so yeah you so do you work in like what does it look like an office just like an office well yeah it's the bbc building in glasgow so it just kind of looks like an office i've actually been in that I it's a in, really uh, nice building isn't it there's like a studio in it isn't there? yeah there's, um, there's a few of them but like uh, <laughs> it's the bbc yeah okay fair enough <laughs> but like i meant there's like a studio for like live audience yeah, there's there's, like, uh, there's two. There's I think there's A and B. I've only there's, two. there's there's actually a couple because we we're we're doing it. We need to do an apprentice film, which kind of accumulate accumulates everything that we've done, and we're trying to use a sports scene studio. So there's that. Oh right, okay. There's also a children's one, and then there's Studio A and Studio B, as far as I know. Right. So and Studio A is like the big boy that like Hogmanay and that shot in Hogmanay that was filmed in um, October. Just saying. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? That really ruined the whole thing for me when I Wait, started watching. Wait, what? Yeah. Not the live stuff. Like, the live stuff is live, but like the bands and stuff that like play on the Hug Me Now show. I watched that all <laughs> happen in October. That's I really so hope weird. I don't lose my job over that. I'm guessing that's allowed to be public knowledge. Aye, but yeah. it's, they, don't, they don't broadcast it as being live. Yeah. It's as live, so as live. Yeah, don't say anything be. that's going to make you lose a job, no, please. No, I don't think it, I don't really know what the rules are. But, yeah. then it's, 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 but if they didn't tell you the rules... Not your yeah, I know, but I definitely was handed a handbook at one point. Oh, okay, <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> um, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so, like, when you went into the job, what was, like, your first, like, what were you doing? Um, what were your tasks? What were you involved the, in? The first thing they did was they sent us down to Birmingham for a week, oh. um, where all of the apprentices from everywhere were, cool. were all put a in big, a room and... Like, convention for <laughs> <laughs> apprentices. A big near day apprentice convention. And nice. We learned some stuff about the BBC, like the fact that it's not their fault that the old over 75s now have to play license fees. I'm just saying. I don't uh, know what that is. That's the, it's the government. Uh, <laughs> Wait, over what? Used to uh, pay over what? 75s need to pay a TV license now. Whereas previously the government footed the money for it so they didn't have to. But people hate BBC. Oh, okay, right. So, yeah. so that was the first thing that we were so taught. So shout out to the BBC for actually being pretty sound in that situation. Yeah, they're trying their best. Big, not good shout out to the government. Mm-hmm. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, I'm so that. involved. I'm so involved. <laughs> in the game. I'm glad this is not a visual podcast, yeah. although it kind of is if you're watching on YouTube. You just saw me spit everywhere. Uh, does this go on YouTube? Yeah. Thank God I did my eyeliner by the way, because I wasn't going to bother. Um, well. <laughs> You're invested now. Um, yeah, so we went to Birmingham. Granted, uh, most people listen to it. Right, okay. Yeah. Cause I would hope so. Yeah, it has a podcast. Most people do listen yeah, to it. Good. Which looks bad because like, I get like like 200 views on YouTube. So it makes it look like I, the podcast sucks. <laughs> I only get 200 views. And I'm like, no, I get way more than that. And it's actually all right. Like, the, it's not like... It's not <laughs> people big, do listen. I'm not I a promise. success. I'm obviously not like a huge, big, successful podcast or whatever like that, right? But... When it looks like I'm only getting 200 views, I'm like, how do I prove that it's like actually better than this? Do you know what I mean? I actually feel like I should just get rid of the YouTube channel because it's such a minute percent of people. Multi platforms, what it's about these days. Yeah, I know. Multi platform. Multi platform being Spotify and Apple podcasts. Nah, nah, nah. That you should be it. Multi platform. Multi platform is in. You need the visual and you need the audio because people don't really want one or they want it all. Fun oh. fact. That's some insider knowledge probably, from me. I, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> but it also is bad publicity when like... You get your one view when you... I know. And, and you're, people are like, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> one one view. And I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah, I'm trying his best. One of the podcasts got like 2,000 views, right? Nice. And that looks it looks good. But I'm still... Is that, I, are you talking about this one in the future? Yeah. Cause <laughs> <it's the best laughs> one. Cause yeah, that's going to be so famous. <laughs> um, it was with a girl who does OnlyFans. Shout oh, out to that. If nice. you want to watch it links and stuff <laughs> that was smooth uh, well done yeah. <laughs> i don't <laughs> know how this, this works <laughs> <laughs> um but even that one like i got uh, 200 uh, 2000 views but that's not like that's a minute yeah compared to how many lessons that one podcast got uh-huh. do you know what i mean so like I, that still makes that look bad uh, and people don't get it people don't get it man just trust me right i'm famous <laughs> trust the system. i'm famous and cool right okay mm. Back on track. We're talking about you, not me. <laughs> well, but I'm so narcissistic. I can't help but talking. Um, but yeah, we went to Birmingham. And we basically just we got to know all the apprentices, and then we all just got really drunk for a week. <laughs> um, the BBC. The BBC. <laughs> um, not on the license payers' money. We had to pay for our own alcohol, unfortunately. Um, Did you just wink to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have. Well, I can't wink, so it was more it was of a subconscious a wink. Um, it was a double eye wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Anyway. 
so yeah, I did that, and then a couple of training days when we come back up to Glasgow, learned to use Premiere Pro in one day. Ooh, yeah. is that what you use? Yeah, for like, I mean, I've not used it since, but we use mm. that for like newsy things, I think. That's what I use. Is that? I'm that oh, guy. You could definitely get some sponsorship money out of that. Um, <laughs> oh my God, why does BBC not hire me? I'm so talented. Honestly, I'll put a word on for you. I, um, I could well be a freelancer for the BBC. I mean, can I like? Can you let me get a job first? Because you know, you're, not, you're fine. No, you're, I'm not. No, I'm you're an apprentice. I won't be. You're an apprentice. You're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, and got a VCS training, which was which is like a sort of radio editing software. Right. Um, it's like it's, it's, it's a struggle because mm-hmm. it's quite basic. I'm not gonna lie, I struggle editing when I can't see the thing I'm editing. Uh, Do you know what I mean? You when you can only laughing, hear it. Yeah. Mm, like See, I'm the mind. opposite. I can I can hear quite well. Mm. Um, it's my two years of failed music career coming in. There. If we combine <laughs> efforts, we are unstoppable. We can maybe put together, you know, <laughs> we can legible. we can rub one brain cell each <laughs> together and create something. Hey, yeah. That's the plan. You did a couple of days and then I went into BBC Studios, which is nice. like a sort of third party. Um, which is based where? It's still in Glasgow. It's still in, in the same building. Key. Yep, in the same building. Right. It's still the BBC, but it's like a um, sort of corporate arm of the Beebs where yeah. they don't comes use, under the same umbrella. Yeah, but, but they don't use like the license pay money, so it's not public broadcasting. Technical terms. Um, yeah. How many people are going to understand what you're saying right now? Probably. I still don't really understand. It, to be <laughs> honest with you, so you're, you're these doing people it. ain't got no. If you don't get it, <laughs> then we're Sometimes all. Sometimes people are like, "Oh, where are BBC Studios with that?" I don't know. So basically, it's. They make programs for the BBC, but they also make them for like other companies, so like right. Geo and ITV, yeah. etc. Um, so I did a documentary on BBC One. It was on two weeks ago. That seems like the coolest area to be in. It's okay. Because there's a lot of different stuff going on. Like um, like there's like it's quite intense. Like mm. there's quite a lot going on, and it's obviously you're working with quite small, well, tight budgets, and everyone's mm. just a bit oh, stressed. Yeah, yeah. Cause I suppose you don't just get to like throw away. No, things. like there's there's money set aside Ooh. for that specific thing. Interesting. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good time. Like it's it you you don't really get to choose what you work on though. So you could kind of be put on any of the productions that mm. are going on at one time, I think. Um, I just happened to be on a science documentary in the science unit, surprisingly. Interesting. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. Wait, so is that out? Yeah. Oh, wait, is that the one that... Yeah, the one that you saw. That came under science? Yeah, because it's... Because they, I don't I don't know how it works. So wait, do you want to like talk about... So how did you get in, involved in that? Like... Do they come up to you and go, right, we've we've got a contract to do this, or or we've got a picture? How does that work? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm, just... the, I'm like the coffees, bro. <laughs> I don't know, right? Yeah, but you're the only insider I know. <laughs> I know. Basically, like, it'll, be, it'll be like the, the idea will be commissioned by someone somewhere, and it, it's, it then gets decided. Someone somewhere. These are vague terms. I don't, I don't, I wish Someone's I knew. commissioned this. Someone has, so for example, this documentary has been made for BBC One. By by BBC Studios, right? Okay, but ITV could have approached BBC Studios, right? And, and then right, yeah, okay, they could right. have made it for them, but they just so happened it was made for BBC One. Um, so BBC Studios is basically like a very much like a like a production company. Yeah, it's not a exactly. broadcasting company. It's at a all. production it's company. A production. They don't. Right. They, that they definitely make. seems like the coolest part of the BBC. Then I mean, it's it's, it's really interesting because they make things for like Nat Geo. They mm-hmm. make things like there was a documentary going on beside me called Na- um, Disaster Force, mm-hmm. and that was like people in America like. We were people in Glasgow were dealing with people in America, like chasing hurricanes and stuff wow, like that. That's so, so crazy. Um, so, how many projects have you been involved in total so far? So far, I've uh, depends what a project is. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you, you just know, lie to me to tell me. All of them. All, all of them. them. Yeah, I've them. actually single handedly put together Eurovision for this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've I've done studios, which was the documentary that I was telling you about, mm-hmm. um, and then I worked in Radio BBC Radio Scotland, so I did quite a lot with the music. Um, I worked on the Vic Galloway show and the. Right get it on brian burnett which is like two of like the sort of key shows so you've done like tv yeah radio uh-huh. and what else um more radio <laughs> and more radio would yeah. you prefer tv or radio 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 100 percent. but you're on tv right now no i'm in radio just you're now. in radio right yeah now. But Ra- you've just came out of tv then i came out of tv in november when did that tv show air last week what yeah it well t- technically i think it depends when this goes out it was Oh, well, this will go out uh, like no, I'll go out this month. Right, for okay. the end of this month. So that well, it came out end of February. End of February. Uh huh. And but that it, started. It was actually finished in November. No, 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 no. It was meant to be finished in December, but it only finished approximately four weeks ago. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, what? and that, that took a year. It took an entire year. Pretty much. Do you want to like shout out the, the TV show and stuff like that? That then? would be really useful. This yeah. is, the TV show I did was The Truth About Takeaways. Um, it was on BBC One. It was about the truth about the it's, it's quite self-explanatory yeah takeaways right. are bad for you <laughs> imagine that <laughs> um but it was it's quite an interesting it gets one. more in depth than that if you're not selling about yeah there's like blood vessels and stuff it's, and, it is very and interesting. the lovely nicky fox eats some pizza and stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a good um time. but so like that tv show uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> the makes them pick that up so we're just like crazy like, oh, looking about. <laughs> um the the tv show like uh-huh that has to so does that have like a slot on the tv by the time that needs to get done and if that's not done what happens it has a delivery date which is but if that was only like finished four weeks before it actually aired well that's i, I don't know i'm not breaking a sweat like oh my God, well, the, the, the delivery date for that program was meant to be the 23rd of december and they were well off the mark yeah they were still filming i, I believe about four weeks ago what? But that then has a turn. Like there's obviously a turn. Something goes on in the background that I don't. Ah, it's away by yeah. my pay grade. Um, you are the person in the background, and then there's people in that background. Yeah, and then in that background, <laughs> there's people in the background. Yeah. it's like a, it's like a, a constant like mirror of people in the background. You know, oh, when you go to yeah, the fun yeah. fair, yeah, it's just yeah. When you big, face a mirror, but there's a mirror behind you. Yeah, and it's just nonstop. It yeah, just people in the background, <laughs> and it just goes oh, on forever. That's so crazy. Um, yeah. So that's quite, it's quite wild, So see actually. if uh, people are listening to this podcast right now uh-huh. and they're like, oh, I want to check that out. Where do they even check it out if it's already aired on TV? I play a bro. Oh, can you still get it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just like, every, it's like everything else on BBC. So does that stay there forever? Um, it's usually about a month or so. Oh, only a month? So I don't know. I, I can't really remember. But then if they then want to air that again in like six months, say, they wouldn't want it on iPlayer because people then yeah. go out, oh, I saw that on iPlayer last week and I'll watch that mm. on TV tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. It's quite but smart. You're like so that, but that's not how they actually make the money, because they've been like sort of commissioned to make it. Yeah. By the BBC. So the money's put into it by, in this example, the BBC. But then they would then. And that's just kind of like their budget. To yeah. Make the actual show. Yeah, but then they would then have to try and make money back because yeah. it's a commercialized yeah. entity. Um, they'd probably do that by sort of selling the program or the program concept to other countries and other production people so like they might go to a production company in china and go here do you like our program you could do this too for a set amount of money but you don't actually sell the program you just sell the idea i think they do both oh you can sell the program as yeah well. i think so that's my understanding but then can i put in I a mean, disclaimer here when i go i'm a production apprentice i don't really know what i'm talking yeah. about i mean <laughs> most people are just interested in the stories yeah, rather than the facts. yeah. Like, okay i can assure you nobody cares if you say you could just lie and uh, if people go oh that's a cool story that's all cool story, bro. yeah that's all people are looking for nice no, um but yeah but i'm guessing not many people not many like countries are buying like english shows well i, th- I think like they do english. really they, they, they buy the concepts because like, yeah by the concept ah yeah, but, like, yeah they're yeah, not gonna yeah. like watch a, a english show they're not gonna dumped. care about nicky fox eating yeah pizza, it's but like <laughs> not as relatable is nah it? nah nah they'll, they'll, they'll more they'll more buy into the concept yeah. particularly it's so interesting you can just sell an idea like that yeah and then i think it's the same where like people sell their ideas to us really yeah i believe so it's kind of <sighs> like how like you I imagine that's how Love Island all happened because there was, I believe, Somewhere. Australian at Love Island was first. <gasps> what? So they would have sold the concept to ITV. And ITV, I mean, there's an Ama celeb for everywhere now. Really? Yeah, and I think that originated in Australia. So they would have sold that idea to. That's mental. I mean, not quite on the same scale because they would have probably made millions. Yeah. But. I can imagine. That's so crazy. You don't think of these things, do yeah. you? Like, TV has been ruined for me. Yeah. I hate it. People, people <laughs> just watch TV and they're like. Mm-hmm. They, all they can see is like the pixels flashing the screen and that's all that means to them yeah. but the amount of work and effort mm-hmm. and like blood sweat and tear and literal toil, blood sweat and tears went into that documentary has, yeah. I can't explain how many tears that's so <laughs> mental that's like uh-huh. like there were 12 hour days on set which were then compressed down to approximately 5 minutes on screen that's so like, crazy isn't it full like and that's not including the background time like getting contributors and just like unefficient to do it or like how do you like spend so many hours creating something just to have it like like how long was that entire program 60 59 minutes 59 minutes yeah 58 possibly 58 minutes an hour yeah. right yeah but how many hours of actual production were involved from well, like creating the concept to actually like the final edit probably like 
hundreds and hundreds. How mental Because I, I know that when I was working on it, there was so at least four people in the production team itself working right. five days a week, eight hours a day on that production. And that was only in the two months that I was there. That's not including your cameramen, your sound men, yeah, your yeah. contributors, your director, producers, your What's a exec. Contributor? Um, contributors like the speak like media speak for someone that's like I'm a contributor to your podcast. Do you get me? Like right, kind right. Of, no, I get you. It's like someone that's not third on the parties produc- of some sort. Yeah, so it's like, not on the production team, yeah. but isn't involved in the production, but is in the program. Right. Um, yeah. Or the so like guest speakers and or yeah, like. like uh, was there doctors in that? Was yep. Like, so like they're all contributors. Kind of right, okay. But then you've got like the presenter would be the talent. So you get talent. The talent. But you also get Wait, who's the talent? So like the presenter? Yeah. Someone, the, the person that would be sort of like, oh, right. I want to watch that because Nikki Fox did it. Right. She was the talent for that show. No offence to her, right? Because uh-huh. she was great in it and stuff. Uh-huh. But does she like actually sell the programme? Like, do they have to put like a lot of thought in who, who the program like narrator slash presenter is yeah like quite a lot because like the last truth about that they did in pacific here i believe was the truth about cosmetics and they had cherry healy who she does like she's I quite see, i don't know how these people are she's a she's a presenter who's quite prolific not prolific is that the word Pro- prolific. prolific yeah like a big deal Aye. iconic i like she's she's known for doing sort of like under the knife documentaries <sighs> and stuff like that so that like thought does go into that they don't just think oh they're available let's get them in there will be some sort but of then, like what's the con- like i feel like the only time i'd watch like when I watch documentaries, I'm mm-hmm. just watching the documentary for the concept. Yeah, I don't care about who the presenter but is. You might not in your sub, like your actual mm, conscious brain, maybe. but in your subconscious, you might go, "Oh, I've seen something with her in it before," maybe, so that yeah. kind of sticks so with me. So it feels me a bit more legit. Yeah, a bit more like you can because if you that. just had me presenting truth about takeaways, people would go, "No, who's let that apprentice on the screen?" <laughs> mm, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think? Well, yeah, well, maybe I, I don't uh, know. Whereas yeah. if you put someone like like Nikki, particularly, is famous for Watchdog. Like that's uh, her big big show, right, and that's right. a quite a yeah. well known yeah. show. So you stick her in the face, anything seems very reputable. Ah, uh, it's a good time. She's also an absolute star. There Shout go. out to Nikki. Can she come on the podcast? She'd probably love to, to be honest with you. <laughs> get her on. Hit me <laughs> I'll, up. I'll get her. I'll just be doing it. It'd be so awesome. I'll get her phone the now, shall I? I go. For Could it. you imagine? go for it? Send her a voice memo. <laughs> uh, voice message. Voice memo. A voice voice message. What's a voice mail? This is the twenty first century, bro. Um, I, I know nothing. <laughs> Look at me, I'm clearly in it. Um, <laughs> Look at me, I am nothing. You right? Yeah. You went quiet? Well, I don't know, you were looking at <laughs> the laptop, that was always a bit intense there. Um, I was I was saying, can I be pulling talking to you much longer? Nah, not really. No, honestly, nah. retweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, talent, that's interesting. Yeah. But how do you get to become talent? Do you know what I mean? Do you have to like, work your way up the ladder, but then... Just you were saying, no one's going to take it like as a serious program if someone comes on and they're a nobody. It's like, how do you work your way up? I'll, I'll come back to me in 10 years, not to Wait. Uh, tune in to this podcast in 10 years from now. <laughs> when I'm making the big books. Um, Hopefully soon by now. <laughs> I know, by the way, that we could be doing this in like, you yeah. know, a proper studio, not in a port Shed. cabin. <laughs> I have some soundproofing. Let's I be can see your four tiles of soundproofing. You'd want egg cartons, mate. That's what you're wanting. I need, I need a... What's that? Egg cartons. What's you that? can use them to soundproof. Trust me, I know. Um, they're in my basement. Come on, I don't have a basement. There's nothing in my basement, wait a oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> How um, do you work your way up to being talent? Not by making comments like that on podcasts. I don't know. Contribute uh, yourself sometimes. <laughs> exactly. So um, you prefer radio over TV? Can I answer the original question, please? You're What's jumping the original about question? How you make your way up to being talent? You, you said you're going to answer that in 10 years. All right, okay, we're taking that literally. That's yeah. right, okay. I'm a literal person. Skip. I Beep, only next. If you want to answer it now, <laughs> I, 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 I don't was, mind. I was probably just going to waffle on right. what I imagine happens. Waffle so. on this question then. Right, let's go. Radio, TV, prefer radio. Radio. Why? It's so self-contained. It's so, it's so. Just simpler. It's, it's not even, like, I don't even think it's like a less difficult job. I just think people, people don't appreciate the amount of work that actually goes into radio. Mm. But it can be done with such a fine, like a small amount of people. Mm. And it can be amazing. Yeah. Like one radio show really, for example, like when I was working on the Vic show, like that's a producer and Vic, a sound guy who makes up the band, etc. The band play, and then there's me and probably that's someone so else cool, just running about making coffees for folk. It's a yeah. good time. And so it's literally like a handful of people. Yeah, and it's so a cool. good time. Do, but then is there as much money in radio and stuff like that? 
in your I guess it's not as expensive to run if there's only like five people at max. There's not as much this. profit, but like, is it like there's, there's not much that needs to go into it. Yeah. But there's not as much profit, which is probably why it doesn't get as much appreciation. Sh- yeah. I mean, we look at like Radio One, like Radio One probably rake it in. Like, how do they make money just from like having ads and stuff? I that? don't really know. Probably just like, mm. well, it's all publicly funded, things like that. Oh yeah. So, but then so wait, does Radio One have ads now? Nah, BBC nah. no no ads in Beebs. Nah. But then you get things like the Big Weekend. That's Radio One that runs that, which mm-hmm. is coming to Dundee. Yeah, no. So I might get a good old shot of that. You want to hook me up with some tickets? <laughs> play, isn't it like Biffy Clyro and... Uh, Lewis Capaldi, I think? I like, come on, let's focus on the good ones. <laughs> no, I can't think of Calvin Harris? Oh yeah, Calvin, oh, was it not Calvin Harris, Biffy Clyro and, and uh, uh, Lewis Capaldi? Like, that was uh, supposed to be like the iconic, the like new generation of like iconic Scottish, Scottish artists. artists. Yeah. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll maybe get... Because, like, Radio 1 will be coming up to do some stuff in Pacific mm. Key for that. That's so which cool. Which is quite fun. So Where Riot actually is it that w- that's been held then in Dundee, do you know? I don't no know. I'm not sure, to be honest. Ooh, that's um, exciting, though, isn't it? It'll be a field, that's I so imagine. Cool. It'll be cool, I think. Um, yeah. I've got... Rylan was kicking about the building a couple of weeks ago. Never got to meet him, though. I was quite upset. Yeah. He was doing Ready, Steady, Cook. Ready, Steady, Cook. Is that mm. where that's filmed as well? Yeah, that's where that was filmed. Which was quite weird because I was just walking down, like, I went, we were doing the key sessions, which is like this music gig sort of thing that they do in the foyer, Pacific mm. Key, and I was like showing the band to the dressing room, and I was like, no, why does that say Ready, Steady, Cook? And they were like, is that getting filmed here? And I was like, I honestly couldn't tell you. And I worked <laughs> I here. Know, <laughs> and then I walked past the VIP, like, dressing room, and I was like, hold oh, on a minute. <laughs> is that who I think it is? That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, isn't it? So, like, how many things are filmed there that people probably, like, don't even know they're filmed in Scotland? Um, Mrs. Brown Boys, M- Mrs. Brown Boys. It's filmed there? Mm-hmm. It's in Pacific Key. Oh, wait, does that actually have a live studio audience? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I don't think it's a huge one. I think it's, but it's like, still there. Ah, still it's still, yeah, you can go it. and That's see crazy. it. Like, you can just apply on the Shows and Tours website um, if you there want you to go and see it. Um, you just need to it. Yeah. And... But then there's things that aren't shot in Pacific Key, so like breaking the news is like done out in. I think it's Webster's are doing it like the next couple of weeks. I don't know where it's in the West End, across from Kelvin Bridge. Used to be Lansdowne Church. I, know, I do know where it is. Right, yeah. okay, cool. You've made that up. Um, <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. No, I know where that is. Um, yeah, so that, that gets filmed there, but it's obviously still a BBC production. But I think that's just because it's a bit of a nicer location mm. than the studio. But why is that a nicer location? Because it's mean? pretty. As in the inside of it? The inside, yeah. What, what, is that just studios as well though? No, it's a church. Oh, it's a church? Yeah, it's like, because like, Breaking the News like, can travel, so they, they've they like they've done like live shows from different places. Right. So like, they, they kind of tend to dot about. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm thinking that's, maybe there's something else on in Do Studio you know A that week. Does that not work out like, way more expensive for them to like, move stuff all the time and like, rather than just have it all set up and they can just use that? Well, probably, but it's only once a week that they film it, so... So is it even worth setting up? Yeah, because it w- there'll be other things that will be into. Right. Because so are all these spaces like constantly changing every day for like whatever shooting that day? Yeah, pretty much. Jesus, oh, that I sounds know. crazy. It's quite. I quite the reason I quite like working in that building is because you do walk past rooms sometimes going, "What's going on in there? What is here? What am I on there?" And you just see like folk that you know for the TV just stoking about. Cool, yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, standing in the queue and there's Judith that does the weather in the morning, saying morning to you like, "Hi, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> oh wait so you all eat in the same place like, yeah. living this, like intermingling like yeah it's like a big like ikea style canteen like it's huge <laughs> honestly the first thing i did when i stepped into it was like i'm in ikea right now and um like you'll just be there's like the folk the, the women the guy that do the nine they'll be in having their lunch about the same time okay. jackie no jackie Bird doesn't work there anymore either be um i don't know who these people are now do you know no. Uh, Kay Adams, I'm working on her show just know, now. She's lovely. She's I'm losing, losing. You're, yeah. you're losing me. She, this is really out my realm. Right, now. well, someone, someone somewhere will find that interesting. Yeah, they'll, they'll know. They all have lunch together. We all have lunch together. We're all like, what happy family? <laughs> is that what you want to hear? Yes, that's exactly mm-hmm. what I want to hear. Uh, and what I also want to hear is some good stories if you have any. But if you don't have any, um, I'm not pressuring you. Good stories, but good stories. Do you have any <laughs> final words? Do you want final to have any words. closing something? Nice um, to say to the audience before you go. I would maybe recommend if you have any interest, just apply. Mm, yeah. Because the application will go live in probably around about the time that this goes out, I imagine, and then it'll be open for a couple of weeks. 
because I worked in a call centre before this and I hated my life. And this um, is way better. This is way better. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and there's no harm in trying. No, absolutely not. Like, in, at the end of the day, what have you got to lose? Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. It's something like, it's the Careers Hub. If you Google that, like BBC Careers Hub, it'll be up there. And But, like, there's, like, separate applications for each of the individual things, like, around the country. So make sure it's the Scottish one. And it'll be the well, Scottish production of you're willing to move. Yeah, I mean, you could if you want to, but why yeah. would you? Because, you know, Scotland. Um, don't make that face. Okay. Yeah, but if you're into anything, editorial, so editorials, like you're researching, mm. um, et cetera, or like your production management, so that's like kind of dealing with flights and booking places, et cetera. Right. Or this year, they're actually starting like a sort of craft path. So that's like things like your post-production and your camera work, like they're doing like a separate thing for that. Right. All under the production bracket, but you would get to sort of narrow down your choices when you join which is something they didn't do this year which i think would be quite fun for some people because i don't really know how to work a camera and i don't really want to but someone somewhere probably does so there you go that could be you it could be you Both. this has just turned out into a big advertising for <laughs> the apprenticeship I, like a I was at a career fair all day yesterday and i don't think oh, I, I convinced it. anyone at all but today it's just caught with you <laughs> and maybe like killing it <laughs> Show them this and be like, look, I'm actually really good yeah. at being a career as advisor. Like, come on, I'm, I'm, I did it well. I know that all the old day yesterday I just sat, you know, scared to speak to anyone, but that's because, you know, they were in my face, but yeah. Well, on that note, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> thanks for coming on. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, is thanks. there anything you want to plug? Anything? Any social medias? Um, any creative outlets? Anything? Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I've had a social media free month, to be honest with you. A what? Social media free month. Really? It's been good for the mental health, oh. I'll tell you that. Maybe maybe don't plug that then. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to plug that. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow me because I don't have ins and um no. Follow me then. <laughs> yeah, follow Tom. But I'll plug me. I was on his Instagram today, so it's a good time. Um, exactly. Yeah, so shout out to that. Shout out to that. Shout out to the Beebs. Support your local Boom. BBC Scotland. Your local <laughs> BBC Scotland. <laughs> and if you're not local to Scotland, do not support it. Yeah. Good night Only and God bless. BBC Scotland. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. Mm-hmm.